what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this is probably going to be my last video before the official casting continues to drop regarding screen five because we're going to be weeks away now almost from getting our full cast announcement and from production production starting in Wilmington, north carolina bearing no changes coming they have to pause production or anything like that as we know over the past coming weeks we've been getting casting news left and right we have melissa barrera on board we have Jack Quaid, we have Jenna Ortega, All our, those are our three brand new faces. The only returning people we know of so far are Courtney Cox and David Arquette back to play their characters, Dewey and Gale. And then we know over the past week or so we got news that the release date for Scream 5 has been delayed to 2022, January 14th of 2022. Now, an interesting thing this has to do with is this might be a very subtle way of our filmmakers hinting at the return of Kirby. Now, just look at this post that I put out a couple of days ago on my Twitter. Basically, what I'm getting at is the fact that this film is set to come out on January 14th of 2022. That might have been a coincidence, but another strange thing is look at the look in the very left. Look at that tweet from Wes, Qua Wes Craven, which on the date of Screen 5's release would make this tweet 10 years old. Look at what he says about Kirby and Kirby possibly being alive. And it just makes me think that that tweet from Wes Craven and then the date being January 14, 2022, is that a subtle nod to them trying to tell us, yes, Hayden Pantier will be back as Kirby Reed. I may be looking too far into that, but that's like the final, that is like the last big clue that we could possibly have about this character coming back. Because the only clues we have so far are just things that we've been pulling from evidence that is from years ago and stuff that happens in screen four because again the biggest thing from screen four is sydney prescott going back into kirby's home attempting to or starting to go downstairs into the basement area where we last saw kirby before she went outside and got stabbed and left to bleed out uh by charlie as sydney's going downstairs she hears a door open down in that basement now who is opening that door? Because first of all, Sydney's upstairs. Charlie's upstairs because he grabs Sydney from behind. Jill is upstairs as well. That could have been Jill. Actually, no, that was not Jill at all. I think Jill was coming from downstairs when she came and confronted Sydney. So the only person that could have been down there opening that door that made Sydney stop, because the first person she made and called out for was Kirby. She heard a noise and said, Kirby? The only person that could have been was Kirby. Kirby was the only person left for dead downstairs. And it's, it sounds just from that slight noise that she made her way back into the house. And Wes Craven, as you saw in that tweet, has made, he was making mentions of this many years ago that he does not think Kirby was dead. He, he wants, he makes it a big point for you to pay attention to the fact that she was still moving. And in fact, like I've already stated, her survival was originally in the script, but they decided to leave that out for whatever reason or another. Maybe that came from maybe that came and that happened during filming once he saw how good of a job hayden pantier was doing with this character maybe he associated the character with hayden pantier just because of how well just because of how well her performance was on screen who knows maybe that's when they decided to cut that scene out of the script because we know scream 4 underwent a lot of rewrites uh kevin williamson walked out mid-production and they brought in aaron Kruger, who wrote, wrote scream 3 to work on a few rewrites so there's several different things that could have led to that scene where we would have had Kirby's survival confirmed being left out. But getting back into what I want to talk about with this, again, the tweet was from January 14th of 2022. That's very odd and that's very ironic if it is just a like a big coincidence. That's very hilarious to me because I don't I don't think this is just a subtle I don't think this is a coincidence. I really do not. I know a lot of you guys are already hyped about it because you, you, a lot of you tweeted that, retweeted that tweet, you favored it, showed your support for that theory down in my comment section. It wasn't even a theory, just a, it's just a big, a big reach at this point by me because I'm being called a Kirby stan. I'm being called a Kirby, uh, I'm not going to say the word, but you know the word, a Kirby D writer, <laughs> but Hayden Pantier, she did great in that role and she was like a perfect blend of not only randy but sydney and fans want to see her back i can't it's not just me there's there's a fan base for this character it's very rare that you i won't say it's rare 
but for a character that was only in one movie and a movie that was pretty much not that well received upon initial release but is now being re reevaluated as the years go by because of how relevant and how far ahead of its time it apparently was given everything that's going on in society today and how people are wanting to get famous by just doing exactly what Jill was explaining during her confrontation with Sydney at the end of Screen 4. Screen 4 was indeed ahead of its time. Kirby Reed is a character that many people want to see back in Screen 5. That tweet being dated January 14th, 2012 and then Screen 5 now being dated to release on January 14th of 2022, 10 years to the date of Wes Craven hinting and tweeting that Kirby might be alive. That's just very strange to me. I don't think that's just done by pure coincidence. I think these filmmakers involved, they've already made it clear they want to honor this man's legacy. I think this means that this is just like our first subtle nod from them that Hayden Pantier will be back. Because what's very odd about this is how Hayden Pantier, she keeps coming and going from social media. And I know she has a lot of things going on personally. She just overcame some stuff in her life. And I'm very happy to hear that for her. But she did also recently return to Instagram and she returned to Twitter. She's been mostly active on Instagram, but she hasn't been posting much of anything. And I don't know if that's because she's waiting for it, it might have nothing to do with Screen 5, but it's just very odd how she and Courtney Cox. Remember, Courtney Cox was the first person who kind of started this. She tweeted out something on her socials. She posted something around Halloween last year, and then that's when news about Screen 5 started coming out. And then in the Christmas time, then we got then we saw Kirby or Hayden Pantier rocking that Kirby haircut. She shared it on Twitter. And now here we are many months after both of those two things. We already know Courtney Cox is back after she made a reference to Scream. And now Hayden Pantier more than likely is going to be back too because she made a reference to it as well. She might have just been wanting to rock that haircut, but it's just way too many things. And that to be that specific with the date. And then I'm just really convinced that they were trying to redirect us to something. Um, not necessarily, of course, you know, hey, go check out this tweet. But when you sit down and you notice the similarity there, we have a date of January 14, 2022. If you look at a tweet from Wes Craven from that same date, he's talking about Kirby Reed. Could be a big coincidence. I don't think it is. I think this is our first subtle hint from them uh, that Hayden Pantier is indeed on board. I think Hayden Pantier's silence has a lot to do with the fact that she's trying to remain off of social media until the filming process starts. Could be nothing, could be something. I think it's something. I hope Hayden Pantier is back. And even, even if she's not back, this could be just their subtle hint to say, you know what, she's not in the movie. Hayden Pantier, unfortunately, will not be participating. But we're definitely going to still mention that character and let you know what's going on in her life. Because I feel like at the end of the day, what really matters to not only myself, but fans of that character is not that she comes back. Uh, but is she alive? Is she alive? I think that's the biggest thing that means the most to not just myself, but other people who are fans and want to see this character brought back. I can live with Hayden Pantier not returning to reprise that role. I'm fine with that. Maybe bring her back from Scream 6 or maybe save her for something, something better down the road and factor her into the franchise again. But let us know something. Is she alive? What's going on? Did she die in Scream 4? Because I would hate for Scream 5 to come and go and they make no mention of Kirby. Honestly, we we didn't get an official announcement. We know we have Jill in the hospital making her claims, but that's just that can easily just be brushed off. That can be brushed off. We, it's, she's not necessarily straight up saying, oh, Kirby's dead. She said, I heard. I think her exact words, but she said she heard. So, yeah, you heard wrong because <laughs> I'm pretty confident Kirby did not die. But we'll find out in a few coming weeks when this full cast is announced. Uh, can't wait to see what happens. I think that tweet was our first subtle hint that she will be back. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. I'm going to have a link to the Facebook group. Go ahead and join that group. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure, of course, that you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can, of course, go ahead and message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And, of course, with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.